Well, there's a scene where, where you fall in love with Antonio mm. over a meal of prawns. Yes, pornography, uh, we call yes, it. Yes, pornography, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So we have a clip from that. So let's Very take good. a quick look. <laughs> Wow, I, I know, I can understand why people will want to order prawns every time they go out to dinner from here on out. there are prawns and prawns. Yeah. And there I, are prawns cooked like that, that. And this wasn't the result of a food stylist spraying things to make them look good. This, this was a delicious no. meal. This was a delicious uh, menu of a meal that was, um, that was uh, created for us by a great a cook called Carlo Craco in Milan. He is a sort of double Michelin star winning restaurant and uh, he designed all our food for us. It, easy to do all of that. You must have had so much fun mm. making this movie. Mm. You're in Milan, you're eating this incredible food, mm. you're in this beautiful home, mm. beautiful art, beautiful mm. clothes, if mm. you if you like that look, <laughs> you know, right? I mean, uh, it's sort of, it's funny to see you that way mm. and, and because people are used to, well, I mean, you've, you've been in a number of different movies with a lot of different looks, but when I see you now, and then I see you as kind of a lady who lunches, literally mm -hmm. and figuratively, it is kind of a, a, a bit of a, it's a bit jarring. It's and it, dressing up and playing. Yeah, was it fun sort of yeah, playing this, this role? This more conservative, mm. but who, and it's also interesting to see how she kind of escapes that uh, as the film goes on, even in her dress mm. and her affect, totally. Well, it's like a uniform, you know, as I said, she comes into this world and she has to learn the rules and the codes. And uh, she, she gets the uniform and she wears it. But uh, I'm very interested in the idea of, uh, of escaping uniforms. <laughs>